Welcome to the channel. This is going to be a quick video on St. Phillips Island. I'm going to probably do, or I'm going to, I'm going to do this all in one take. So there can probably be a bunch of ums, ers, and mmm. So let's just get this over with because I've been trying to do this. I don't know how many times I'll probably make a video on all the takes I've done trying to make this video. Anyways, um, I highly recommend going to St. Phillips Island if you've been thinking about going. It's the price as of right now, July 4th, 2020 is uh, children is $25 and adults are $45. Uh, their schedule is on their website, like the tour schedule is on their website and I'll link all that in the description below. Um, what you do is you arrive at Hunting Island's Nature Center, uh, Hunting Island State Park's Nature Center, and then you get on this uh, shuttle that takes you to a boat and you ride the boat to the island and you get on another shuttle that takes you uh, close to the beach. There's like seven trails, if you like hiking, there's like seven trails on this island. Uh, we didn't hike any of them because it was just too hot, but I wish I would have hiked one because apparently there's an airplane that uh, crashed in a pond on one of these trails. So if we go again, I'll probably at least walk down that trail so I can see a plane in a pond. Um, one thing I saw that I've never seen before is a squirrel fox. It looks like a raccoon and a squirrel mixed together. When I first saw it, I, my mind was just like trying to process what I was even looking at. It was weird. Um, after all this, after this rant, there's going to be some actual footage of everything. Uh, so if you want to go to that footage now, I'll put the uh, timestamp in the description below so you can skip all this rant if you want to. Um, if you do plan on going, I highly suggest bringing water because I think I got dehydrated because I got a really bad headache and I just felt like absolute crap afterwards. But yeah, take a lot of water and snacks and bug spray because there's a lot of freaking like, mosquitoes and stuff on that island. Uh, let's see what else we got. They use a uh, group or whatever called coastal expeditions coastal expeditions and the main tour guide we had was named Henry and he did a really good job um, he was really interesting and he seemed like he knew a lot about what he was talking about he knew a lot about what he was talking about um, on the boat ride there he stopped in one area that was like a, I guess a really deep area of that marsh and there was a bunch of dolphins and then came to the boat, which was pretty neat. Um, and oh, I'm blanking. If you've got any questions about St. Phillips Island, let me know in the comments below because I think I'm about done with my rant. Uh, I think that's it. I highly suggest going. It's in Beaufort, South Carolina which is close to Hilton Head, South Carolina. So, yeah, I highly suggest going. I hope you enjoy all the footage I'm about to show you, and y'all have a great day.